So, let me explain. So, hello everyone again. So, welcome to Super Coaching UPSC by Textbook. This is Venkatesh, your faculty for geography. So, students, I think uh, you all might have heard about Jai Shankar, our external affairs minister, always giving witty messages with respect to the oil issue in. Uh, with respect to the oil supply and the trade happening across the world, especially from Europe, I mean the Russian oil and all those kind of things. I think you all might have heard about the witty messages, right? Yes, I think Pratik, Abbas, Shagun, am I audible now? Supply and the trade. Right, okay. So, let me explain this. Now, what is this witty messages? Why do you think that? Uh, uh, our external affairs minister Jay Shankar giving such kind of witty messages. What is the whole issue behind it? How UPSC can ask questions out of that? Let me explain. Have you heard this word laundromat? Right? Laundromat. You can see here. Laundromat. What do you mean by laundromat? In USA, in USA, you have a something called as a or uh, what do you say, a laundromat place where we take our cloths, all the things to that place and at that place we try to, what do we do that? At that place we try to give our laundry, all the things to that uh, center and they will be washing it, ironing it and giving back to us. So, such places is what we call in US as laundromat. That is in a simple word providing laundry services, right? Similarly, when Russian oil was actually, uh, you know, Russian oil was sanctioned not to use Russian oil, not to trade with Russia after the Ukrainian invasion, the America or the Western nations as such have, inv have imposed the uh, sanctions and to overcome the sanctions, countries like India, China and there are certain countries, you can see it here. China, India, UAE, Singapore, Turkey, that is Turkey, especially India leading, we are actually leading the exports of, we import the cheaper Russian oil because of the sanctions, we import that, we refine them, convert them and then we are exposing, we are actually selling it to the world. You know who is the biggest importer of such kind of refined crude oil? It is once again the same countries which were sanctioned it, European Union and the, all the countries of the West. Keeping that into consideration, we called it as the laundromat countries and such kind of hypocrisy is what is the oil hypocrisy, right? So, what is that? There are countries which are actually importing cheaper oil from Russia, India, China, UAE, Singapore, Turkey, the crude oil. Now, this crude oil is refined, is whitewashed and actually we have used that whitewash, that is the phenomena of washing machine here, that is the symbolism of washing machine. You convert that crude oil into finished products and, expo and export it to the outside, export it to the countries. Now, one of the biggest importer of such kind of thing, we are the exporters of the refined crude oil and the importer of such kind of oil is once again the waste. That is the hypocrisy. So, how does UPSC can ask questions out of you in terms of the basic things? The questions what UPSC can ask is, what do you mean by laundromat countries? Which countries are referred to as? These countries are those nations that are involved in purchasing cheap crude oil from Russia and convert into refined petroleum products. And usually, what are they saying this? There are certain countries which has banned Russian oil imports. For example, uh, for example, we call them as something called as price cap coalition countries. Price cap coalition. Now, what is happening is America or all these Western nations impose something called as sanctions. Sanctions means imposing restrictions in terms of banning, in terms of increasing the price, some kind of a limit all those kind of things where they do not allow trade to happen with that particular country. So, such sanctions 
right such sanctions you are seeing that such sanctions countries which are doing we call it as price cap coalition so what is price cap coalition is number one question what is laundromat is number one laundromat number two is price cap coalitions now you see that these five countries the laundromat countries are the ones which are responsible for 70 percentage of the russian crude oil exports so russia exports crude oil to these five countries india leads the race here so among these india leading the race you need to remember that there are two ports in india which are very very crucial where we are importing that crude oil from russia and processing into finished goods have you ever seen have you ever heard about these ports these are the two ports sikka port which is very nearer to the jamnagar refinery jamnagar refinery the sikka port we import all the crude oil from russia crude oil is uh, refined and then we export so this port becomes very important it is the largest importing port of seaborne crude oil from Russia in the world as well as the largest oil product export port to the price cap coalition countries. So where is Sikka port? Very important. It is part of the Gulf of Kutch, right? Similarly, another port very needed to it, Vadinar port. It is a crucial port for the Russian oil industry. So two important ports. Close observe, you can see it. Here I have given the mapping of that as well. You can see here the Vadinar port, the Sikka port, part of the Gulf of Kutch. So in the Gulf of Kutch, you have two important ports, Vadinar and Gulf of Vadinar and Sikka, two important ports where we import the crude oil. So recently they will ask you, Sikka, Vadinar, recently in news are two centers of what? Maybe if you are from the Gujarat region, Maybe if you have studied this article, you would be knowing. Otherwise, you cannot know. So that is the reason why you can say it. If you are from Gujarat, despite you not knowing anything about Vadina, not knowing anything about this laundromat, oil and all those kind of things, you know, you can answer it because of the relative closeness to that place. What about the remaining parts? What about the remaining people of our country? You might not be knowing. This is where you are able to understand. I hope you got it, all of you. I hope you got my point here, right? So, what they can ask you is about the, the Vadinar and the Sikka port. What is this importance? Ignore this. This is just uh, an idea of how Gulf of Kutch is engulfed by opportunities. The kind of trade happening here, the kind of import and export of activities happening, this can be a hub of such kind of things. That's what this article says, engulfed by opportunities. But Remaining things are nothing to do with this present concept. I want you to remember Sikka and Vadinar. Then, as you move, which countries are actually banning and imposing such kind of sanctions? Those are what we call it as the price cap coalition countries. The price cap coalition, what do they do? They bar trade and insurance for any oil purchased above a certain price from Russia. So you cannot trade, you cannot have insurance, the, then that is the risk factor would be very high. If the Somalian pirates catch such kind of oil, there would not be kind of, you know, insurance. So the cost is becoming higher, all such kind of things. So these countries include the European Union, the G7 countries, Australia and Japan. And the other countries will be the laundromat countries, which are actually utilizing this wonderful opportunity that is led by our country india china uae singapore and turkey right so these are the five countries please understand so next time whenever you talk about these kind of things you need to remember this then they might ask you what do you mean by sanctions From the prelims point of view, these ports, what do you mean by laundromat? What do you mean by uh, price cap coalition becomes very, very important. Similarly, there is another region in Russia which we actually import oil. That also becomes very, very important. What is that region? It is the 
Murmansk, Murmansk region. So it is now you see, connect the dots. There is a climate change which is happening, global warming. Because of climate change, the Arctic Ocean is melting. As it is melting, it is providing the opportunity for trade, especially in summer. So in the months of June, July, August, in the upcoming months, you can see that Murmansk becomes an important hub, right? So where there will be some kind of trade happening here. So Murmansk, important. Then you also see the connectivity issues, connect the dots. On one side, global warming linking with oil, with laundromat. On another side, you also have a Red Sea crisis, right? That Red Sea crisis, where you have seen that uh, there is so much amount of piracy, so much amount of theft happening, Somalian hijacking the ships and all such kind of things, the piracy issues and all, in the Babel Mandap Strait, you are finding alternate sea routes. What are the alternate sea routes to the Red Sea crisis? There are three. One, there is one on the thing, Chennai Vladivostok Economic Corridor. There is another one, India Middle East Europe Economic Corridor. India Middle East Europe Economic Corridor. Similarly, India North International north south transport corridor all these are alternatives to the red sea crisis so for example all these things they are actually providing as a free opportunity of trade of oil that is what i want all of you to remember have you got this pratik have you got this now moving further they might ask you about questions in maybe in the mains and the in the in the interview you know they might be asking about such kind of questions what kind of question they would be asking they would be asking about why do you think that laundromat countries is being ref why india is called so why india is called so they might ask you do you think it is right then you need to talk about the the geopolitical tensions the concepts involved in it see while you prepare you have to prepare from every aspect maybe initially while especially the first one year of your preparation it has to be holistic in nature what is this holistic in nature you get from an understanding from the prelims point of view, from the mains point of view and as well as from the interview point of view. Slowly, as the days lead to the prelims increase, that is when you have to focus on especially on interview, especially on that prelims, then mains, then interview. But such kind of understanding and approach while you are preparing initially the first one year, that becomes very, very important to have a complete perspective, the build-up, the mindset, the thought process. Once you have such kind of thought process and all, and then you focus on these things, it becomes very, very easy. Am I right, all of you? Am I right on that? Am I right? See, legally, it is not having, uh, the sanctions are not uh, having the support from so many nations. Every country has a right to import. Now, once you have refined the crude oil and you are exporting, there is no bar. That's why the European Union is also importing such kind of oil, right? So, it is internationally acceptable one. In fact, this is a report uh, provided by one Helsinki-based uh, uh, a research center. And since then, it's been almost an year. And since then, it is continuing. There is no issue with that, right? So, when you see from this kind of perspective, I want you to develop an idea of these kind of things. Especially whenever you are talking about these international relations, follow the newspapers very closely, observe the events. Then, what you do? Once any kind of Russian oil issue, this is an important hot topic now. Once you have seen that, 
see it from the perspective of every day all india radio will be giving you uh, a, a, a something and information about these kind of things you know uh, every day 15 minutes they give some information about which topic to be discussed whenever such things comes into the picture get the perspective of that people who are part of the domain who are working in the international research who are working in the international uh, what do you say this uh, diplomacy whether it is eminent articles uh, being shared in the newspaper say there is one person see raja mohan see raja mohan in the indian express you can read such kind of articles you can get such information then the collection of such information associated with the uh, all india radio news okay uh, especially on this thing every day there is a 15 minutes topic on that read about such kind of things the perspectives the ideas the thought process will be like anything that is what i would like you to tell right see yes on one side you are trying to understand what is laundromat you have tried to understand what is the or uh, the important ports which are there about such kind of things the and you are also have understood the something about the price cap correlation on one side yes the prelims concept is known and another side please try to understand even the the mains concept and the mentality personality development of these things how do you answer such kind of answer such kind of questions in your interview think and be try to learn the more you learn the more you knowledge the more you get that knowledge the cycle will give you the confidence if you don't start with one topic don't complete that you will not that get that confidence of knowledge that is the issue here sometimes once you learn certain topic the kind of confidence and the kick it will give you know that will give you the push to read so many topics the more you read the more you complete the more comprehensive your mindset would be that is what it is i hope you all have understood this thing you have loved this session i hope you have understood especially the last point where i am focusing on where you need to read such kind of things learn such kind of things and once you learn it how it is giving you a chain of combinations of confidence that is very very important especially in the first 1 to 2 years why once you start liking loving getting confidence you know now you were you yourself will be feeling like you are the what do you say you are ruling the world that is when good things happen to us that is the reason why i am asking you to focus on such kind of things very very clearly i hope you got it all of you pratik kirti shagun i hope you got in such kind of perspective now do you have any doubts on this topic now do you have any doubts on this topic right so that is this topic about i hope you all of you have got a fair idea so if you want the pdf file of this topic you can get it from my telegram channel you can simply scan the scan my qr code and get into that that's it for today i hope you got in a, a wonderful understanding of this we'll come with new topics which are important from the upsc prelims perspective in the upcoming days okay so you can get into the channel any doubt about upsc preparation in general or especially about the current affairs or about a certain subject geography please don't hesitate to ask me being uh, don't be passive in my telegram channel that is an opportunity for you to use such kind of a uh, channel for clearing your doubts that is the only request i have it for you right then all of you thank you have a good learnings happy learnings to all of you thank you